hey guys i have this old braid that i made i think two weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago i'm not sure i was thinking of taking it down but i'm not quite ready yet to take it down i want to turn it to a bantu knot like i've done already and i wanted to show you guys how i turn my old braids to a bantu knot so i hope you like this video and just I'll show you a few of, of what I've done and the finished product and yeah and I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching subscribe comment and do all that good stuff see you later I'll be using some gel to gel down my hair uh, and any flyaways just to slick it down so that it will look um, brand new again so that's what I'm gonna do with the gel Next, I'm going to wrap the braids around in circular motion until I get to the end of the braids. When I get to the end of the braid, I will use the tip to tightly secure the bantu knot so it doesn't unravel. So I'll be showing you one from the back just so you see how I do the back of my head um, I don't have any mirror looking at the back I only have the front facing mirror uh, but my next video you will see my new mirror that I discovered on YouTube shout out to all the content creators they've been saving lives since God knows how long so yeah now I'm able to see the back side of my head with my new mirror but you see that in my next video so again, I'm just going to take the braid and wrap around in circular motion until I get to the tip and then I use the tip to secure the bantu knot. I'll show you one more time at the back take the braid take one strand of the braid wrap it around in circular motion until you get to the end use the tip to secure your bantu knot and that's it and if you want extra security you use a rubber band but i didn't use any rubber band Slick your hair down with a gel or um, anything that you use. Then you take the strand of the braid, you wrap it around in circular motion until you get to the tip of the braid, and then you use the tip to secure your bantu knot. That's it. Excuse me, I make funny faces when I'm 
making my hair because sometimes I have to, you know, be dramatic because it's maybe painful. I don't know. I just make funny faces when I'm doing my hair. Don't ask me why. You can see here I'm really feeling myself after getting it done. Um, I was thinking of leaving it this way with the two strands of braids hanging. But then again, I changed my mind and I just did everything you see at the end of the video. Yeah, just here feeling myself, feeling like a fine babe. <laughs> oh, I feel pretty. Okay. So, today I live like this. Okay, so this is me showing you for the very, 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 very last time. And I hope you get it this time. So take the strand of braid and wrap it around in circular motion until you get to the end. And then use the ends of the braid to secure your bantu knot. I kept saying I love it because I absolutely love this hair. It reminds me of back home and the hairstyles we used to do. I absolutely love it. All right. Bye-bye.